Hey folks, just a little video for you folks doing composites so you can use your TI Inspire to better uh, serve you. This particular program is gonna be the foundation for many programs we're gonna make. And what we're gonna do is create it so we have a fabric to do many other programs. What I'm gonna have you do, you're gonna go into your calculator and you're gonna create a program. So you're gonna pick document, you're going to pick file and you're going to pick new. Then you're going to name this. One good name would be lamina. You could also, if you want a shorter one, you could call it ply. But lamina could be the name of the document that's going to have a number of programs and working areas. Once you've done that and you've made this library access public so you can access it from different places, you're then going to start to create the fabric of this document. You're going to start by inserting a page. The first page you're going to define using document insert page, and you're going to make this a calculator page. This is where you're going to return every time you want to run the program or put inputs or outputs or even do just calculations. Work When you're working with this program, you'll use that for all your handwork. This keeps your program neat. Remember, the overall program is Lamina, and it consists of a number of sub-programs uh, which we'll define in a moment. So now you have your first page, a calculator page. Next, you're going to insert another page. So you're going to go back to document, insert page, and you're going to call this, well, this is going to be a program page. So you make it a program page, and you're going to call this page MAT, M-A-T. That's going to be your material page. Now, you can, uh, while you're gaining ability to program, you can leave this blank and just do put in properties, whichever material you're using. But later, eventually you can sit there and put in a little program that will handle all the materials. So you have all the material properties in one place. You can identify them and not by number. I'll tell you about that in another video. And then you'll be able to use this by calling out that mat program and telling which of the materials you want, you will be able to have it feed immediately into the variables, your E1, E2, and these kind of things, okay? Talk about that in another video. Next, you're gonna create another program. So you're gonna pick document, insert page, and you're gonna define this as another program, and you can call this either trans for transform or ROT, rot for rotate that element properties. In this program, when you're ready, you can put in your T transformation. So you'll feed in information about what angle you need and whatever variables are always already stored, like all the material data that's already stored, it can actually rotate that using that program. Your next program, you're gonna pick another one. So you'll pick document, insert page, program, and this will be Q bar, name it Q B A R. This is where you can create, later create a program where you will pick, read in your material, your E1, your E2, and these kind of things, and it will calculate your Q bar and drop it back for your use. And then your last program at this point, after lecture was four of the composite playlist, you'll pick document, insert page, program, and this you can pick, you can name it EXT1 for strain, E stands for strain, X coordinates or body coordinates, T for two, and then one, the one, two material property. So EX21 or whatever convenient name you have. In this program, when you're ready, you can put in the transformation going from body strains to principal material strains. You can make another tab if you want to do it the other direction. With this framework of programs, you basically can do anything, uh, nearly anything that we covered in the first four lectures of, uh, of composites, of our composite playlist. Now, once you've got this fabric, this thing isn't doing anything for you, you can just start working with it. And then as you are working on different problems during your homework or something, you can say, hmm, I think I can do the program to rotate this. And I have some other programs, some other tools, uh, play um, videos on YouTube to help you do different things like the transformation matrix. You can take that program, follow that, and put that program here. Now you can actually copy, if you already created that program, you can click your cursor at the top of the program, 
uh, pick shift, drag it down to the bottom of the program, pick control C for copy, and then come to this new program. This was sheet uh, 1.3 where we put that rotation program and do a control V for pasting that, paste that in, and now you've got your rotation program populated. I think I made one on QBar too, and you can do that if you if so. Once you or once you learn how to do that, you can copy that program and drop it here. So you have the framework now to do a bunch of things like pull in the material properties, rotate those properties, calculate your Q matrix, and even calculate strain transformations. You've got the fabric for that that you can start populating, making those programs better and better as you improve, and later we can actually make uh, use this program to do other things when we move on to other calculations. You're going to still need to do all these transformations over and over again. You've got the fabric of a program that can do all that. So uh, give this a try and uh, hope that helps. Don't get too bogged down in doing this, like right before a test or something. Uh, don't try and bite off more than you can chew. Just try and take baby steps forward and Keep on feeding your knowledge just like we're doing with MATLAB. So enjoy. See me if you have any problems. Take care.